Welcome to episode 159 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today we're going to talk about how your great, 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 great grandchildren will be affected by the stuff that you're making today. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. I started thinking about this concept of legacy in a totally new way this morning, and it blew my mind. This concept of legacy is something that we've all heard about and we've talked about, and you know, we kind of throw the word around sometimes like, oh, I'm leaving a legacy, I'm leaving a legacy. But let me ask you something. Have you ever stopped to consider that our grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren will have access to us unlike any generation in the history of the world? I mean, think about it. How much do you really know about your ancestors that lived a hundred years ago? How is your life being affected by the people in your lineage, in your span of influence because of somebody that lived a hundred years ago? And I'm not talking about like, well, you know, the automobile was invented about a hundred years ago. And so that affects my life today. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about somebody that is in your upline some, or downline, somebody that has come way before you that you know about their personality and their nuance and their perspective on life and maybe their attitude and the way they carry themselves that really has sown into your life and influenced your life today. If anybody can think of that, I'm telling you, it's a very, very, very short list. But in 50 years from now, 75 years from now, 100 years from now, my great, great, great grandchildren are going to be able to search and pull up this episode and all the other content I've made and things that I've written, comments I've made on social media. It's it's there. Hey, Paul Jr., 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 Jr. Hey, little Polly. It's your great, 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 great grandpa, Grandpa Paul. But I had a dark beard and I wore a hat and I cared about people and I tried to sew into people and I'm talking to you today. Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. What you're doing right now, the things that you're posting are going to be seen by your legacy. The people that are that come after you in your family line. And for some of us, you know, like sometimes that, that could and should be embarrassing, right? Because how we're behaving in the moment doesn't just live in that moment anymore. It lives on for a really, really, really long time. Just imagine if we make things and we say things and we do things and we serve other people, not so we could vent for a moment and not so we could make things to try to get people to, to like it and see it and share it, but in a way that we're like, hey, like this is my legacy. This post will become part of my legacy. This action that maybe gets documented or recorded becomes part of my legacy. Oh my gosh. I, I pull up a few quotes about legacy because legacy is one of those things we, again, like we talk and hear about the word legacy, but let's, let's give a little context here because uh, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about this in a way that I hope helps you rethink what the impact of what you're doing right now and today is. And I hope it impacts what you make and produce and post and document and share and serve how you serve in the future. Okay, so here are a few things. There's a guy named Pericles that may ring a bell for all of you that maybe one time walked into a history class in high school. Pericles, ancient Athenian statesman and philosopher, um, kind of was dubbed the first citizen of Athens back in like, I don't know, 400. And so he said this, what you leave behind is not what is engraved in stone monuments, but what is woven into the lives of others. So think about that, how you interact with people, how you influence people, how you serve people. And now in this world, that goes beyond just the finite amount of people you can actually speak to and talk with and maybe have the privilege and honor of leading and be beyond that. Think of the reach that we have, that things that we do and say and make can be woven into the lives of others. Let me give you another quote. This is from the great evangelist, Billy Graham, who had a legacy of just serving other people, caring about other people, wanting to share truth with other people. And he said, the greatest legacy anyone can pass on to one's children and grandchildren is not money or other material things accumulated in one's life, but rather a legacy of character and faith. All that stuff that, you know, people are posting about on Instagram, all that stuff isn't legacy. The character that's behind that stuff, the character that's behind the accumulation of that stuff or sharing that stuff or on the grind to pursue that stuff is not the legacy. Actually, the character behind all of that 
is a legacy. That's the thing that gets woven into the lives of other people. And if it's really shallow, guess what? It never really gets woven in. It just kind of bounces off and uh, goes away. One more quote for you. This one uh, is from great old Billy Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. Can't, I'll never forget Chris Farley calling him Bill Shakespeare in his uh, Matt Foley skits in Saturday Night Live. But basically, he says, no legacy is as rich as honesty. Honesty. And I think what he means is being who you actually are, the same person in every area. You know, and, and we think about social media, there's a lot of dishonesty, frankly. And a lot of us, you know, try, I, I do it at times as well, right? I, I want to put on who I want to be and who I want you to perceive me as. And actually, it, it's a lot better when I just am who I am. And that's what people actually connect to. So three quotes on legacy, thoughts and feelings on legacy. Your great, great, great grandchildren are going to see these moments of our lives. And because of that, now I can be talking to generations down line, not just my children, but other people's children. I mean, I don't know that other people's children are going to ever look me up, but I think that my kids, great grandkids, great grandkids will tell stories about that. And now to think that a hundred years from now, there could be a human on this earth that has some connection with me that will be influenced by my demeanor, by my attitude, by my willingness to be positive in the midst of a lot of trial, my willingness to pursue clarity, my desire to pursue perspective on life, that these, these words that I'm saying right now could actually affect and make a ripple a hundred years from now, a thousand years from now. And because of the, the ability to record and produce and promote content and other people to connect with it, and you know those, those ripple effects go much further. I think we're thinking about this when we make content and we share and we interact in a infinitely smaller scale than the potential that it actually has. Just think about this, 100 years from now, my great, 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 great is somebody's gonna talk about, oh yeah, your great, 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 great grandfather, Paul, had a podcast. It was a podcast, well, you used to have to listen to it. you know. And they tap into an episode and I change their perspective on something because of my perspective that's been changed because of somebody else, but I change their perspective and influence them to see things in a different way. They walk out their front door, they interact with someone else, they go into their business or their organization or to their family and they do something differently that affects someone else in a positive way. That ripple effect just got thrown through history, <laughs> history, I guess, from history past into that moment in the future. What in the world? Do we actually consider the things that we're doing on a daily basis as part of our legacy? Do we consider the things that we make and the things that we say and the things that we post? Do we consider that no longer does someone need to make a stone monument to be remembered, but the words and the way and the manner and the intent, all of that can come through a lot more. And that is what comes through because that, the character, is what is underneath the surface stuff. All of that stuff, like right under that, is actually the character that drives that. And the character that drives that, I believe, is the thing that goes into the future. So I hope that this episode helps you think about that as you move on to the next thing, as you post the next thing, as you interact with the next person, that what are your great-great-great-grandchildren going to say when they see it? Well, Grandpa seemed like he was kind of fired up. He seemed like he was a little quick-tempered. He seemed like he was a little short-sighted. He seemed like he was a little... Do you want him to say that stuff? Seemed like he was a little selfish. Seemed like he was a little obsessed with that Lambo. Seemed like he was a little too into his dog. <laughs> because, like, the, the posterity of that is going to actually play out. And, like, well, he paid so much attention to his dog but ignored his family. You know, yeah, I'm all about dogs. I have three. They're awesome. So I hope this gets you thinking. I hope this gives you a little bit of perspective and clarity of the impact of your actions today and how it's not like it used to be. They're going to go a lot further into the future than you think. Why don't you just start today with that in mind? This concept has started today with this in mind. So, hey guys, this is great, 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 great grandpa Paul. I had a beard and a hat and I smiled and I cared and I made a lot of mistakes and I did a lot of things wrong, but I was thinking of you. I hope that the rest of you will think the same way. I hope the rest of you will go into today thinking that way, acting that way, serving that way, loving that way. And until next week, I hope you pursue that clarity get that perspective and I can't wait to see you next time. History's made in the moments. Heroes collide. It's all on the line with our backs against the wall. We came to fight.